guys, it's Fanny, and welcome back to another mukbang. Today, we are in San Diego at Gangnam Barbecue, and it is a brand new all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue in San Diego, Rancho Bernardo. They have over 30 different cuts of meat. I am so excited because you guys know how much I love Korean barbecue, but before you guys continue watching, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel, and let's go check it out. This is their menu right here. They have a premium and then they also have a prime. So let's go over the premium first. This is 33 bucks and oh, they actually have a lot of different items. There's 34 different types of meat for the premium. And there's like kimchi, topoki, steamed egg. Wow, there's so many options. This is their prime. So if you want a little bit more premium meat, you can get this for $44 a person. I'm gonna get this, why? Because there is a prime ribeye. Also premium short rib, which I love. Ooh, they have black tiger shrimp as well. Chuck flap tail. There's so many different options here. And this is a really great deal. The lunch special is only $26 a person Monday through Friday, 11 to 2.30 p.m. And you can get so much stuff like top blade steak, beef belly, bulgogi. Oh my gosh. And look, so many of these items too. So you can still get like steamed egg, tofu soup, soybean stew, dumplings. They have everything. This is the panchan and wow, they have a lot. So let's start off. There's uh, some fresh kimchi here. They have fish cake. This is a uh, soybean paste, a radish. I love this radish. And they have lots of garlic, jalapeno, rice paper, japchae, and then cucumbers. So two bowls of fresh salad and greens. And a bunch of fresh veggies, mushrooms, potatoes. Okay, this is uh, the soju tower. So it's a mix of soju and then some uh, beer. I'm gonna use Tara. over here so he, he just brings all of your sides that is so awesome Hey guys, all of the food has arrived and uh, let's begin. But before you guys continue watching, try to comment down below to guess which is going to be my favorite dish today. Oh, oh my goodness. And this is so cool here. So we have this gigantic like soju tower. It is mixed with Korean soju and Korean beer. I have some right here. I'll top it off a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, all right. Um, first cut of meat I'm gonna start off with is the beef belly, just because it's like nice and fatty. So this is the beef belly right here. Put all this beef belly on the grill. After my beef belly cooks, I'm gonna cook my ribeye. We also have some topoki right here. This is a Korean spicy rice cake, so it's really awesome they have this as an appetizer. Wow. Mmm. Oh, this topoki is really good. I love the rice cake texture. It's nice, thick, and like really chewy. And the sauce is so good. Wow. Mmm. I'm so surprised. This tastes like a topoki that you would order from a restaurant that specializes in topoki. And this is just like one of the many appetizers that they have to offer here. That's crazy. Oh my god. That was really good. Mm. So while this is cooking, I actually want to put the pineapples on the side. So I love how they have pineapple here. We're just gonna put some on the side. I love eating pineapple with my beef. It is so good. Hey, beef belly is done now. Oh my gosh. Check this out. 
Oh, the beef belly is really good here. It's nice and fatty. Mm. It's a nice mixture of like meat and fattiness. Oh. Let's uh, start cooking our steak now. This is the ribeye right here. Oh, nice, big, fat, juicy steak. Ribeye is uh, my favorite thing to order at Korean barbecue, so I'm always looking forward to this. I just, I just like simple meat and some good kimchi. <laughs> okay, so for the beef belly, uh, what I like to do with this is actually eat it with my radish. I'll put some like uh, some garlic on top. Oh. Ooh. It's getting hot and steamy in here. <laughs> now we have a nice little Korean taco. The reason why I like to eat beef belly with this radish is because like the beef belly is fatty and the radish just kind of cuts it out with all the acidity. It is so good. Mm. Okay, let's try some of their soups. So this is the spicy tofu stew right here. Oh, I love how there's a bunch of tofu on there. It's nice and spicy. Looks like there's small chunks of meat as well. Wow. The chicken is really good. Mm. I love the little chunks of meat and the big chunks of tofu. It's nicely flavored too. Oh, okay. So uh, our steak is about ready now. I'm just gonna let it rest on the side. Ooh. Let's cook the prime short rib now. This one I'm excited for. So this is basically just like kaibi. This is part of the premium menu. We're starting with all unmarinating meats first. This one right here is the top blade steak. So this one is included um, in the regular and in the really cheap lunch special as well. Ooh. For these to cook, let's try their steam egg keranji. So this egg was once fluffy, I promise you guys, but it's been sitting here, so it's now deflated. But I'm sure it's still gonna taste really good. Mmm! Oh, I love all the green onions. They put like extra green onions on top. It's nice and crunchy. The egg is actually really good. It's um, very soft, jiggly, nicely seasoned. Mmm! Mm, this is a good egg. It tastes a lot better than the eggs uh, I try to make at home, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alright, let's try the meat now. So this one is the prime short rib, and oh my gosh, look at that. It is glistening. This is a nicely marbled. It's a nice combination of meaniness and fattiness. I actually really, really like this. Wow. I tried that one with absolutely nothing, so... Next one is, let's dip it with um, some salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the one, guys. Come here and order number two. Premium short rib, number two, premium short rib. This is part of the premium menu, but oh my gosh, it is so good. Let's try the top blade steak now. I'm gonna dip this in some salt as well. Mm. So this one definitely has uh, less fattiness to it. It's a very like standard steak. Like if you just want steak, with no uh, marinated, nothing marinated, no fattiness. This is not bad. I think it'll taste really good actually with the pineapple. Mm -hmm. It 
are so juicy with the pineapple. You guys have to eat the steak and pineapple together. Like that combination is wicked. Oh my gosh. And then with the beer, oh my gosh. Omo, omo. So good. So you in the beer. bring our ribeye back now it's been resting for a while oh wow there's like so much uh, juice that came from here you see all this all this fatty juice I'm not gonna waste it though. I'm gonna pour it back on top so let's cut the ribeye now I might have overcooked this because the ribeye is a bit thin um, yeah <laughs> it's definitely not like a medium rare inside but I think it'll still be good take all of this juice here and just pour it back on top of the ribeye Let's get it like nice and juicy again mm. Mm -hmm. it's a nice juicy steak mm. oh Let's try to dip it in the cheese fondue now. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 It is so good with the cheese. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You guys definitely have to try eating the red ice steak with the cheese just like this nice and cheesy oh mm. oh so good This is the last unmarinated meat that I have. And this should be number four, which is um, the chuck flap tail. So this is also part of the premium. So this should cook honestly pretty fast. It's a really thin piece of meat. Yeah, it's basically already cooked. So just let it sizzle for a little bit longer. I really want to try their japchae right here. This is a Korean glass noodles. Mm. Oh, so good. Lots of sesame oil in their japchae. Mm. I'm gonna need another order of this. Oh. This is now done. Oh. <laughs> mm. This is why I love scissors. If the meat is too long, just snip it off. So this one has like a nice marbling too. I'll say it's a little bit chewier though than the prime short rib. So if you want to meet with a more chewy texture, I would get this, but if you don't like the chewiness, I think the prime short rib is better. Let's eat this one with a piece of kimchi and put a piece of garlic. Mm. 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 Oh wow. Okay, so it's actually my first time trying the kimchi right now. The kimchi is actually really, really good. Wow. How you can tell the Korean barbecue is good, honestly, is if they have good kimchi. If the kimchi is not good, the Korean barbecue will not be good. Now we are going to move on to the marinated meats. This is the bulgogi and this comes on all the menus. The lunch menu, the regular menu, and the prime menu. While we wait for the bulgogi, I'm also going to cook the bone and kaibi right here. I really wish uh, they had like cold noodles here. Because I love cold noodles so much. Naemyeong. But they don't because cold noodle and uh, marinated kairi go so well together. It's getting 
nice and steamy in here. I feel like I'm on a Korean sauna. Let's start preparing the kaibi. Cut it into bite-sized pieces. The bulgogi is done. Let's give it a try. Ooh. The bulgogi marinade is really good. It is definitely on the sweeter side, but still, the marinade is so good. Wow. What this will taste really good with actually is uh, some rice paper. I just put the bulgogi on top. Oh my god. So good. I need some beer and soju. <laughs> I'm honestly really surprised with this bulgogi because usually I do not get bulgogi when I'm at all you can eat Korean barbecues because it's not that good but it is really good here. They actually use like a decent meat quality for this bulgogi. Marinade is really good and uh, I love it because they, it's an option in all the menus So even if you go to a lunch and get the really cheap menu for only like 26 bucks, you can get this. It is delicious mm, 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 mm. Oh. Mm, mm. Eat it with their delicious kimchi Let's try the kaibi now. Mmm. Mmm. Kaibi is really good. Oh, hot. Mm. I like how the kaibi is not chewy. That's very important for me because when I eat kaibi, I cannot stand the kaibi that is chewy and it's just so hard to chew and swallow. This is really good. Really good kaibi. And, mm, the marinade is so good too. It's like sweet, savory. Oh, wow. Mm. I need some naengmyeon. I really wish they had Korean cold noodle hair. This is the last marinated meat I have right here. And this is also is kaibi, but it is uh there's no bone, so it's good for lazy people like me that just saw uh, I just get lazy sometimes. Like, I love kaibi, but I get lazy to eat it off the bone sometimes. And then we have two tiger shrimps here. I'm just gonna cook it along with the meat. Now let's try the corn cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally forgot about this corn cheese, so it's been sitting here for a while, but... You can tell that they put a lot of cheese on here. Like, there's chunks of cheese on top, so I think it's gonna taste amazing. Oh, this is drenched with cheese. They're very generous with the cheese on this corn cheese. And even though it's been sitting here for like over 30 minutes, my goodness, this is still so good. Wow. Okay, my marinated kaibi is done. Wow, nice, hot, and steamy. This one is also very good. I'll say though, I feel like the marinade tastes sweeter on the boneless one. I do not know why. I'm not sure if it's the same marinade or not, but it is a little bit sweeter here. It's nice how there's no bone, but if I had to choose, 
I would recommend getting the bone and carby. I do think it tastes a little bit better. Mm. Let's eat this last piece of carby with, oh, ooh. I actually haven't checked out their cucumbers, so. This is the cucumber. Let's eat it with some kaibi. Oh. Mm. The cucumber is like so refreshing, crunchy, and juicy. Mm. Oh, this is actually really, really good. These are the cheese sticks. So I actually did not realize that they had cheese sticks here until I, I heard some uh, customers behind me, they, they ordered cheese sticks. So I was like, oh wow, they have cheese sticks. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh, check out that cheese hole. <gasps> ooh, ooh, there's a lot of cheese in here. Oh my gosh, the cheese stick is so good! Oh. If you eat this cheese stick with the topoki that I had earlier, it would taste so amazing. Like, I don't, I barely have any left, but like if you just dip it in this sauce, just like this, oh my gosh, this is gonna be like a flavor explosion. that we need to try now is uh, the tiger shrimp. Mm. The shrimp is like nice and sweet. It's a good size too, so this is like one shrimp, but they split it in half, so it looks like two. Let's dip this one in this sauce here. This might be like a chili, uh, chili gochujang sauce. It's like a garlic chili sauce. Tastes really good with the shrimp. One last cheers, guys. Are you guys proud of me? I don't drink that much, but like, this soju tower tastes so good with all this Korean barbecue. Even if you're not a heavy drinker, it's very irresistible to drink and eat Korean barbecue at the same time. Oh, I go, I go. Okay guys, that concludes today's Korean barbecue mukbang at Gangnam Barbecue located in San Diego. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know which item you think was my absolute favorite today. Overall, the Korean barbecue here is so awesome. This is a brand new Korean barbecue in San Diego, and I'm always excited when new Korean restaurants open up in San Diego because we need more delicious Korean food in San Diego. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to leave their information down below in my description. Check them out. They are awesome. And until next time, see you guys. Bye!